Facebook Live, Setup and How to Use for Business. The final Facebook tool that businesses can use is Facebook Live, which basically allows you to live stream video to your Facebook audience. Live streaming started on Twitter a few years ago through Periscope. It soon moved to YouTube and Facebook and is now a really exciting communication tool to connect instantly with your audience. Live streaming has caught the media world by surprise. I can now be at a live concert and stream it live to my Facebook friends. Where do media rights fit into this? The industry is still trying to come up with answers. Fact is that Facebook Live allows you to start your own live TV program and broadcast it instantly to a global Facebook audience. And on top of this, Facebook loves you to use Facebook Live and will reward you for using it by giving your Facebook Live post a higher organic reach. Facebook Live has lots of opportunities for businesses. It gives natural engagement by people liking and commenting during the live broadcast. And Facebook gives you lots of opportunities to promote the live event before and after the live broadcast. At the end of the broadcast, Facebook will ask you if you want to save the broadcast and post it on your feed. Often, this leads to lots of additional views and engagements. On this site, you can see where in the world Facebook Live broadcasts are happening right now. You also see a lot of live activity in Southeast Asia. So let's look at some of the features. Facebook Live covers three aspects of communication. First, it allows you to have live conversations with your followers. And Facebook Live turns these conversations in very engaging experiences with likes and emoticons flowing over the screen as they come in. And comments showing up as well. Second, you can turn your live broadcast into a visual story like you want to tell it. You can add filters, colors, texts, overlays, etc. Adding augmented reality features is not far away. And thirdly, you can target audiences in multiple ways for your broadcasts. And on top of that, Facebook will give your live broadcast a higher than average organic reach. Old Spice Brazil is a great example of a Facebook Live campaign. They did a two-day live broadcast to put their antiperspirant product to the test. They turned it into a big marketing campaign with which they reached over 9 million people with the time of the broadcast. There are many ways businesses can use Facebook Live. It's a great tool for promoting your products or services. You can do live tutorials or product launches. It can be used to support your live events. You can do a broadcast during your event and interview an expert who attends the event. It can also be used to support your customers. You can do a live Q&A, ask for feedback, hold a webinar. And Facebook Live also lends itself for sharing news, announce a sale or organize a sales party. Lots of opportunities. It may take a while to build traction with your broadcast, but if you can maintain the momentum, you can generate plenty of coverage and engagement. A good way to maintain engagement is to turn your live broadcasts into recurring episodes, weekly or monthly, so you can build your campaign around this and build up a library of great content. It is very easy to start your Facebook Live video. When you are on your company page, what you do, you click on the publish button on your mobile and then in the different options you see, one of them is live video. You click on your live video, you immediately see what you want on the, the screen. You can have different background settings if you want to, uh, different filters. You can select where you want to, uh, to post and you can then basically click start the live button. When you start a live button, your life, you can still add different effects, you can invite people, you can chat, and basically we are now live. If I now would go to my other phone, and let me just quickly do that, I will go to Facebook, and I will go to the Facebook page. 
So of simply learn and I can see that Facebook, uh, let me go here. Yeah, so I go to the simply, uh, simply learn business page and I can then see that the video is live on the page from simply learn. And here I can then engage with the page. You can now also see here in the screen that I have one uh, viewer and that is me in this case. Here you can also see that I can like and this is I think a really cool feature of the Facebook Live which shows you the engagement that is happening during the broadcast. It can be a thumbs up, it can be a heart, um, it can be a, um, a smiley face. And I've seen companies do polls um, with give me a smiley face if you like the product, give me a sad face if you're not happy with the, uh, with the product. And then you can count the number of likes uh, that come in um, in that way. You can also see who is watching and that's in this case is Mark Kempman. I can then also put in a comment to this post and I can just say hi and post it and that comment that will show up um, on the feed as well. So a very engaging, very interactive process to run your Facebook Live broadcasts. So when I click finish, then what Facebook will do is will save the video and it will then give you the option to save it on your newsfeed, on your timeline. You can upload it in high definition. So when you save it on your timeline, then when you can share it straight away, or you can save it on your disk. I click share, and now you see that on my business page, in a minute, the page, the, the live broadcast will show up. Actually, it's already shown up here. And uh, you can then see who was on the, uh, the video. Yep, uh, you see the comments that came in and you can see the video and you can see the engagement in the, uh, the video as well. So very powerful concept to run Facebook live broadcasts. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.